welcome back. I'm Allison and this is Wonder Crochet and today we will be making this cute round easy duck plush. If you're new to crochet and you'd like to learn how to make these little plushies and more I have a full online course. I'll link that in the, the description. It has over 40 videos so that you can become a confident crochet artist from the very beginning. So let's jump in to making this cute plushie. For this project you'll need yarn. I am using size 6 super bulky chenille yarn. You can use any yarn that you would like. This is the brand Premier Parfait Chunky. I will link this in the description of where to buy this. But you can use any yarn that you would like for this project. Just make sure that you use the correct corresponding hook. So I am using this yellow, this orange, which is called Tangerine. If you'd like to do the flower on top of the head, which is totally optional, I used this purple yarn and this is called Lilac. And then for the cheek details, you'll need just a little bit of pink yarn. This is called Ballet Pink. You'll also need fiber fill stuffing for the body. I used a six millimeter crochet hook. I like to use a stitch marker to keep track of where I am. A tapestry needle for sewing. And don't worry, uh, there's minimal sewing on this and I'll show you how to sew it on so you won't have any issues with any projects going forward. Need something to cut with. And then for the safety eyes, I use, I believe they're 12 millimeter safety eyes. I'll link these in the description as well. So you need those and the backs. Okay, I think that's all, let's jump in. We're going to start by making the body with our yellow yarn. So go ahead and grab the end of your yarn and grab your crochet hook. And we are going to first make a slip knot. And if you would like to make a magic circle, you can absolutely do that. I will be doing the chain two method. So you're going to pull that tight on your hook and you are going to chain two. So one and two. And then working into the second chain from the hook, so not this one right next to the hook, this one right here, you're going to insert your crochet hook and you're going to do six single crochets into that same stitch. So that's one, go back into that same stitch, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to take that tail and pull it tight. So you close up the hole that's there. And that is the circle that you're starting with. Again, if you'd like to do the magic circle, that's six single crochets into the magic circle, but I prefer this way. So now we are going to do an increase into each of the six stitches here. So you're going to insert your crochet hook into that first stitch there. And for my beginners, an increase is two single crochets into the same stitch. So you'll do your first single crochet and then your second. And then you're going to repeat that five more times for a total of 12 stitches. So you go into your next stitch, do your next increase one, two, and then the third, fourth, fifth, and then we'll do our last increase into that sixth stitch. So your stitch count now should be 12. So for this next round, we are going to do one single crochet and one increase six times. So that'll be the whole way around back to our stitch marker. So we'll do one single crochet, and then in the next stitch, we'll do our increase. And then repeat that five more times. For our next round, we are going to do two single crochets and an increase six times. So the whole way around again. So one single crochet, and then in the next stitch, another single crochet, and then in that third stitch there, we'll do an increase and repeat that five more times.
for this next round, we are going to do three single crochets, one increase, six times. So one, two, three, increase, and repeat that five more times. Now we will do our last increasing round. So we are going to single crochet four, increase one, six times. So we'll do one, two, three, four, increase. And then repeat that five more times. Now that we have finished our last increasing round, you are going to single crochet the whole way around for six rounds. So that's one single crochet in each stitch for six rounds. So I'll meet you back here after we do that. Now that we have finished our six rounds of single crochets, this is what your work should look like. Make sure that this is on the outside and this tail here and these stitches are on the inside. So if you need to flip your work, you can do that now. So now we are going to insert our safety eyes before we continue. So I am doing them between rounds eight and nine. So you'll count from the very top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can put one right there. And we'll want three visible stitches in between the eyes here. So the one, two, three. So that'll be kind of five total stitches, but those three visible stitches there. So you can grab your safety eye backs and we are going to pop those on. Sometimes they're a little bit difficult. Once there, and then that's how you know it's on. Let's grab our second one. Goes on once there, then there it is. And your safety eyes are in. So now we are going to start our decreasing rounds. So we're going to start to close up the body. For this first one here, we are going to single crochet four, decrease one, six times. And I'll show you how I do my decreases. So we'll do one, two, three, and four. And I'll be doing invisible decreases. So you're going to take your crochet hook, go in the front loop only of the first and second stitch there. So you should have three loops on your hook. You're going to grab your yarn, pull it through the, the first two, grab your yarn and pull it through the next two. So I'll do that again. So we'll do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then our invisible decrease. So front loops only of the next two stitches. You'll have three loops on your hook. Grab your yarn, pull it through. Grab your yarn, pull it through. 
And then we are going to repeat that four more times. For the next decreasing round, we are going to single crochet three, decrease one, six times. So that's one, two, three, and then our invisible decrease. And repeat that five more times. Now for our next decreasing round, we are going to single crochet two, decrease one, six times. Now we're going to stuff the body, so grab your fiber fill stuffing and start to stuff it. And you want to stuff it pretty good, um, just make sure that you don't have holes in your work. Also, if you are consistently getting holes in your work um, after you stuff it, you should go down a hook size. Usually holes in your work means that your tension isn't tight enough, so you want to use a smaller hook. And after you stuff your body here, we are going to continue with our decreasing to close up our work. So for this next round, you are going to single crochet one, decrease one, six times. Now we are going to decrease to close and I'll show you how we do that. If you need to add any extra stuffing, you wanna do that now. Now we are going to do six decreases. Sometimes you only need five decreases. Um, it really depends on how big this gap is and those still are our invisible decreases. So we'll do one, two, Three, four, five, and I'm actually going to stop at five, but if you need to do one more, you can. 
Now we just have this little hole here, so we want to make sure we close that up. So you want to pull out just a little tail, grab your scissors, cut that yarn off. And now you are going to insert your hook into the front loops only and pull this yarn tail through. So that's the first one. Pull it through. Let's go into the next one. Pull it through. And you want to do this until you get the whole way around. And once you weave it in through all those, you want to pull that hole closed just like that. And then I like to just insert my hook and create a little knot with that tail so that it doesn't come undone and then pull that tight. And then just tuck that into your work. And there's your body. And an important step that I see beginners skipping is shaping your body. So if you have tight tension and you know your body looks very long and skinny and you want it to look plumper, you can just shape it. You know that polyfill will move around in there and you can get it to be the exact shape that you want it to be. So let's move on to the wings. We are going to use our yellow yarn to make two wings. So we are going to start with a slip knot. Insert your crochet hook. And you are going to chain two. And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do six single crochets into that same stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And pull that tight. Now we are going to increase the whole way around. So that's six increases for a total of 12 stitches. So we're going to insert our hook here to our first increase. So two single crochets into the same stitch. Move on to our second increase. third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Now I'm going to insert my stitch marker and I'm going to single crochet the whole way around. So one single crochet in each stitch for two rounds. Make sure you flip your work so the correct side is showing. We're going to single crochet around for one more round. And now that you've finished your first wing, you'll fasten off. So insert your crochet hook to a slip stitch and then pull that through. Leave a little bit of a tail to sew it on. And pull that tight. There is your first wing. So let's do another. And there are your two wings. Now we're going to make the beak. So grab your orange yarn you're going to do a slip knot. Put that on your hook, pull it tight, and we are going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. And starting in the second chain from the hook, so not this one right here, but this stitch here, you are going to single crochet the whole way across. So that will be five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Now I'm going to flip my work and we are going to do five single crochets on the back side of the chain. So insert your hook into that first stitch there. Do a single crochet. Two, three, four, and five. I think I call this a beak, but I meant the duck bill. <laughs> Insert your stitch marker, and we are going to single crochet around now for two rounds. So that will be 10 total stitches per round. Okay, flip your work so you make sure that the correct side is showing and we are going to do one more round of single crochets. Now we are going to fasten off, insert your hook into the next stitch, do a slip stitch, and then pull that yarn through, and leave a tail for sewing. Now we can pull that tight and stretch out our duck bill a bit and flatten it. Now we're going to sew our pieces on. If you'd like to do a flower for the top of the head, the tutorial for that is linked in the description but let's start to sew our pieces on. So you'll need a tapestry needle, and I like to hold my pieces on while I'm sewing with other tapestry needles, or you can use knitting needles. Um, if you have T-pins for knitting, you can use those as well. So we are going to sew the wings on between rounds nine and 10 on the body, and about five stitches from each eye. So let's grab our first wing here. We'll place that right there. Count one, two, three, four, five. So that's where our first wing will go. You'll want to pin your work so it does not move. Or if you want to freehand it, go for it. <laughs> then you'll take your tapestry needle, weave that yarn in, and then we'll begin to sew. So sewing pieces for amigurumi is actually really easy. All you need to do is locate where you want to sew and just stay in that straight line right there. So we're between rounds 9 and 10 here, so we're going to insert our tapestry needle right across like this. Pull that through. And then I'm actually going to go through the top of the stitches on the top and bottom here. So you'll just go through both of those and pull that tight. So just make sure you're sewing on the correct line here and go right under that stitch there, pull it through, and then go from the top here and pull that through. And then just continue to do that. Make sure you stay in that straight line there. 
until you get to the end of the wing. And once you have sewed down the whole length, I like to tie a little knot. Insert your needle right back through and then just tie a little knot. And then you'll just weave that into your work. So there is your first wing. Let's move on to the next one. So we are going to go on that same between nine and 10. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, about five stitches from the eyes. Just look at it, make sure that it's even. And we're going to pin that in place. We are going to go right under that first stitch there. Weave through the top. And after you sew the whole way across, we're going to tie a little knot and weave that into our work. And there are your wings. Now let's sew on the beak. It's even easier. So we are going to sew our beak on right under the eyes and centered with the eyes, just like this. So let's pin it in place, grab our tapestry needle, we are going to weave it through this way, and once you have that in there you can remove the first one. And then we are going to insert it back down through both the top and the bottom of the beak. And then we're going to continue to do that the whole way across. And just like we did for the wings, you're going to weave that back in and do a knot to keep it in place. And then just weave that into your work. Now we're going to grab our pink yarn to do the cheek details. So you're going to cut a tail just a couple inches long and then cut another for the second cheek. And you're going to grab your tapestry needle and we're just going to weave this into the face here. So I'm going to start right under the eye here, and I'm going to go three stitches out. Weave it in, and then weave it back through. And pull that tight, and then you can push those tails right into the head. Now let's do the other one. I'm going to go right under the eye and then three stitches out. Weave that in and then weave it through again. And you can tuck in your tails. And there's your duck with the cute little cheeks. So if you decided to do a flower, the tutorial for that is in my description, but I'll show you how to attach it to your duck. So you have your little crochet flower and you'll have two tails here. I'm just going to grab a crochet hook, insert it into the crown of the head right there, grab one of the tails, pull it through, and tie a knot here. And you can tie a double knot just to make sure that doesn't come undone. Then we're going to tuck our tails into the head and there is your cute little duck with the flower on its head. If you like what you see here today, consider liking and subscribing. Comment down below what types of tutorials you want to see next. 
and give me a follow on Instagram where I post all of my new projects, I take polls for new projects, and much more. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you real soon.